Now hey guys, welcome back to the Swiss 001 channel and another video today. Today, let's actually talk about the space shuttle again. Yes, we definitely need to talk that space or if you will aircraft once in a while. Yeah, we haven't flown this one for quite a long time. So I guess today is going to be the day. Now I've done quite a lot of experimenting with the space shuttle. We have uh, landed it all the way from space. You know, with it, the whole re-entry, you know, from really outer space to this very airport, which by the way, is the Edwards Air Force Base, which all the space shuttles used to land at back when they were still a thing, which they are not. As you can see right here, they all used to land on this pretty long concrete runway. Uh, they have very special lighting for navigation. Th these all help the plane to stop properly on the runway for a safe landing. Now, something that we have never really talked about is how much of a runway is needed for this plane. This runway is actually, again, super long. You know, this runway is gonna be uh, quite a lot bigger bigger than even most international airport runways that you can find all around the world. This is quite an enormous runway. Um, so let's do some testing today. How much of a runway does the space shuttle really need? Or perhaps why does it need a long runway that it does? Was that a grammatically correct sentence? I don't know. We have a special version of the space shuttle for this video. Um, and this one actually has normally working rocket engines that you can, that you can just use like a normal plane without any extra like fuel tanks or anything, which is not very realistic, but but there we go, we can just take off like a normal plane does. We're not pushing very hard on the throttle because, you know, this engine, it is very powerful and putting in too much power would be very much deadly. But there we go, we have taken off. That was quite a smooth one. Let's put the gear up, which uh, in a normal space shuttle, you cannot do either. You can put gear down, of course, but the landing gear has to be put up again manually by like professional NASA workers, I guess. All right, there we go. We can just uh, apply full power. Um, we have flown the space shuttle at top speeds before and uh, what can I say we're, we're very fast was that a voice crack I don't know let's actually add a Mach counter so that we can actually know how exactly fast we are right we've even surpassed a Mach which by the way is uh, the speed of sound so we're going uh, faster than the speed of sound which is very amazing and we can just fly like this until we will run out of fuel which actually will happen quite soon but that's another story now let's maybe go ahead and land this plane just like you normally would all right, there we go. We're just approaching the Edwards dry leg bed, the normal runway that the space shuttles all used to land at. Let's just go ahead and uh, get this plane touched down on the runway. We're a little fast, but that might actually be quite nice for demonstration purposes. Oh, wow. Yeah, when we're this fast, we actually have to watch out for hard landings because that is going to break the landing gear. But let's just go ahead and stop. Now, about why the space shuttle needs that much of a long runway to stop. Uh, it's basically because it doesn't have any tools to stop. Oh, wow, we're actually getting close to the edge of the runway. Uh, we do have parachutes, which are very much necessary because uh, unlike a normal plane, Oh no. See, that was actually, uh, that was a little fast. You know, a normal plane has several things that will make it stop on a runway. First of all, we have things like engines that provide reverse thrust. That obviously helps quite a bit, which we don't have here, by the way. Uh, we don't have any spoilers, any speed brakes. We only really have the manual brakes on the wheels and that parachute, which actually does help quite a bit. But other than that, we have nothing to stop properly. And again, you're landing this plane at a very, very fast fast speed because you don't have any flaps installed either. So, uh, this is not, this is definitely not a very landable plane. Let's just assume that this 4,500 meter long runway is enough for this one, right? Uh, so let's just do some testing. How much of a runway does it really need? I actually do wonder. Where should we go then? Should we go to like a conventional long runway, but that can still like serve like normal airliners? You know what? I feel kind of lucky. Let's go to Innsbruck. We have actually never really visited this place. A lot of people are suggesting that I actually visit this airport because it is very special. It is in the mountains, but we do have a two kilometer long runway, which is like just enough for like normal airliner service. So no problem about that, right? All right, we'll come back on board the uh, space shuttle and uh, we are flying in the Alps, I guess. Let's just see if we can get this plane landed somehow. All right, that was a hard landing. We need to get this one stopped, so uh, I better do that. Okay, parachute is deployed, and oh wow, we are... Yeah, I now see the problem here. We do really need a long runway, don't we? Oh wow, that was a really bad landing. All right, so not even Innsbruck is enough, huh? 
This plane is picky, Jesus. Let's maybe try a normal conventional international airport with a little bit of a longer runway. Let's go to Frankfurt. You know, this is uh, actually a pretty interesting video because we're actually having a plane now that really cannot land anywhere other than its home base, right? All right, welcome to uh, Frankfurt. We're now at one of the largest airports in the world. Let's see if its runway is large enough for the space shuttle. You know, maybe there would be cases where a space shuttle needed to land at another place than its home airport, right? You know, after all this plane, it glides down to the ground. It obviously doesn't have engines when it enters the Earth's atmosphere. And maybe in that gliding part, something may go wrong. So a diversion must also be possible. Now let's try landing at a slower speed this time, which is actually pretty Pretty hard to do. Okay, come on. All right, that was a landing, a pretty hard one. As you can see right here, the oh, computer is actually very much struggling with all the scenery and the space shuttle because again, this is the special version with rocket engines and, oh wow, this actually worked a lot better. <laughs> okay, all right, you know, this is actually looking good. And this is the landing. Oh wow, that was a tail strike. But there we go, that was actually quite a solid one. Uh, maybe we can go slower. This is actually pretty interesting, huh? What airport doesn't necessarily have a long runway, but it's like still okay? Maybe Gibraltar. You know what, this is actually not that bad of an idea. Oh, this is only 1700 meters long. Even shorter than Innsbruck, but whatever. But whatever, let's see what we can get. All right, welcome aboard. Nah, uh, again, Gibraltar, let's do this. This is actually another international airport that is uh, actually serviced by several airlines. Let's see if it can also be served by uh, NASA, I guess. I mean, the space shuttle doesn't even fly at this point anymore, but yeah. Oh, wow, we impacted the water. Okay. I tried going as slow as possible, but... Oh my god, just stop, please, already. Oh, wow, that's... Uh I think uh, this uh, this helped to prove a point, definitely. Yeah, really, that mix of not having a lot of, you know, tools, if that makes sense, to stop, and uh, the very, very fast landing speed that we have in this plane make this one a very, very slow stopper. Or at least this plane, it does need a very, very long runway, as we can just see. Uh, I mean, technically, we stopped. But yeah, there's one good part about the space shuttle, and it's the takeoff distance that it needs. That is actually no problem, especially when you go, like, uh, more than, like, 50% power. There we go. That was the quickest takeoff I've done in a while. That was perfect. So, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. Oh.